On my lids, I'm going to apply the MAC NW45 Studio Finishing Concealer. And this is going to act as a base and also give me an even tone. Next, I'm going into my crease using the MAC Swiss Chocolate. Next, from the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette, I'm going to use the Champagne Shade to highlight my brow bone. From the same Wet n Wild Palette, I'm using the Dark Brown Shade and I'm placing that in the outer corners of my eye. Next, I'm going to apply this Peach Bronze Shadow by Forever Beauty all over my lid. Then I'm going back into the crease with the transition color just to smoothen out everything. Next, I'm going in with my liquid eyeliner and I'm going to apply it very close to my lash line. I don't want a dramatic look. I'm going for a very subtle look, so I want it to be as close to my lash as possible. After applying my Red Cherry Lashes in 415, I'm going to apply my foundation. Now the foundation that I'm using today is my Black Radiance Foundation in Cashmere. If you've been following my channel, you know that I absolutely love this foundation. It gives me a really light coverage and it does not feel heavy on the face. Next, I'm going in with my LA Girl Concealer in Fawn, and I'm just going to highlight all the areas that, you know, the drill that needs to be highlighted. <laughs> Next, using my Cover Effect Setting Powder, I'm going to set all the areas where I apply the concealer. Then I'm going to set my whole entire face using the MAC Blot Powder in Deep Dark. For my cheeks, I'm going to go in with the Flush Blush by Sleep. Then I'm going to apply the Ruby Kisses Bronze Glow, and this is going to give me the finished glowy look. So for my lips, I'm using this gorgeous chocolate brown lip liner that I picked up from my beauty supply store. It is a cream liner. So that is all that I'm going to use for my lips. I'm just going to build the product on my lips so that it stays on all day. And here is the final look. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you all in my next video.